Hey there, it's Ike with Big Tech's Ordinance, and today we have Caleb from Lone Star Medics, and he's gonna be talking about uh, EDC Medical and some ways that you can carry it on body and you know some ways to keep it on you and be prepared. So Caleb, I'll let you take it from here, but thanks for coming down and- Hey, thanks for having me out yeah, again. Looking forward to it. So now let's look at different methods of carry for your everyday carry medical equipment. So we start with the contents. We know we're gonna be carrying a tourniquet, some type of pressure bandage, and some type of wound packing material at a minimum. Maybe some, add some chest seals in there if we need to. Uh, we've got a couple different methods. My first and favorite is gonna be ankle rigs. I love wearing the ankle rigs because I wear a lot of pants, a lot of jeans, a lot of uh, suits. So uh, ankle rigs usually work for me. I don't wear a lot of shorts often, uh, but for the ankle rigs, there's several different ones out there. Some that are uh, elastic, okay? Like the uh, SFD, uh, excuse me, SFD Responder uh, from Frog Pro and Safer Fast for Defense. This is probably one of my favorites if I had to pick a favorite. Uh, which child do you love the most? You know, yeah, it'd probably be one of this one. And uh, I've worn the, this one, not this particular one, but this make and model for years. And then the 2.0 version, uh, and it's really a big favorite. So an ankle rig is one. Uh, another is from Defense Mechanism, kind of a new one. They've had it out for a few years, uh, but this one is not elastic based, but it just sits on the top of your foot. So imagine this is my foot. When I wrap it around there, okay. The really nice thing about that is it kind of stays loose and cool and just sits on top of the foot a little bit. Uh, that one's really nice and comfortable as well. They both hold good equipment. They have a lot of pros with them. Then if I'm not wearing uh, something like if I'm wearing my Western boots and I can't wear an ankle rig with my pants, uh, then fine, I'll go to my pockets. And it's, you know, it's not uncommon to find me dividing up some of my medical gear. So I may have my wound packing material like the H&H uh, &H compress gauze and a soft tourniquet just rubber banded to the to the front or the back, technically, of Raven Concealments here, their pocket shield. And the pocket shield is this gray piece of plastic here, guys. Think of this as like your cool guy pocket protector, okay? Buddy Chris Fry designed that. Hat tip to Chris Fry, if you get a chance, when he speaks, you listen. And I added this little dummy cord here to tie in the side of my pockets. I wear a lot of Vertex pants most of the time, so I can dummy cord that to give me one more secondary when I go to pull this. And what this does is, I just rubber banded this, flat folded the soft to it, then put some combat gauze on there, and that fits right on the inside of my pocket where I'm wearing uh, blue jeans, denim, dress slacks, or anything like that, and it just disappears. And then I can literally, how do I deploy the items? Well, I'll just grab the item inside the pocket and rip it out and break the rubber bands, because at that point, who cares, okay? Uh, so that's a, probably one of my second favorites. Uh, another is the Filster Flat Pack Tourniquet Carrier. Uh, this simple, sexy device here, the belt slide, has different belt widths on this side here, as you can see. And it, that's a pretty small, compact, you know, method of carry for a tourniquet. And I usually, depend on which, uh, which knife I'm wearing that day, which fixed blade, I may wear it about 10 or 11 o'clock on my belt, okay? And the way that works is simply just pop the little loops and the tourniquet falls off into my hand. So that's the Filster Flat Pack Tourniquet Carrier. Real simple there. And then another, especially when I travel, well, then I'll usually uh, put everything in the immediate casualty cares inside the waist or inside the waistband kit. And it's literally uh, as simple as it is, genius idea. In, uh, immediate casualty care, hit a home run with this. So I've got different pouches inside. I can put my tourniquet, pressure bandage, uh, chest seal, some wound packing material in there and keep it as mi minimalistic as I want. And it goes inside usually about the nine o'clock or maybe the, you know, the seven o'clock, depending on what I'm doing, where, what pants I'm wearing. Another one, if you're thinking, okay, I'm not wearing a belt and I'm not wearing uh, pants, Maybe uh, for the ladies, if you're wearing an evening gown or a dress or skirts, then maybe, hey, belly band may work. So we've got the Unity Tactical uh, belly band, okay, or their clutch. This is the one of the earlier models here. So Vertex, Unity both have these, and this swallows a lot of medical gear, uh, maybe too much, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But this is really nice, the different pouches in there. The material's super soft. They make them in a couple different sizes, super easy to wear, and it literally disappears on you if you're not if you're not wearing a belt or some kind of pants or anything like that. So that's a couple different options there. Again, don't forget that we're talking minimalistic. We don't need to carry a bunch of trauma shears. We're not trying to carry a bunch of different gloves. Again, mission dictates gear. It also dictates how that gear is carried. I'm Caleb Kazi with Lone Star Medics, and this has been how you can carry your med gear as part of your everyday carry.